Hello again, this micro lecture is going to be on acceleration and what it looks like on distance time graphs. So previously we had talked about the equation for figuring out how far you travel if you are accelerating. Now we're going to look at what does that look like on a graph and how do you like pull information about acceleration from a graph. Before we get started, a little bit of a reminder. Let's talk about slope. So on a velocity versus time graph, the slope gave us acceleration. The reason why is because literally slope tells you how fast the y value changes with the x value. So in this case, it tells you how fast your velocity is changing compared to time. And so that gave you the acceleration for this cart rolling down a hill. On a position graph, the, vol or sorry, the slope gave you velocity or gave you speed. The reason why is because it told you how far you were going in position or distance versus time. And so you literally had distance divided by time and that gave you your speed. For this case, it was a constant speed. And so as a result, the slope stayed the same the entire time. If, however, you weren't going a constant speed, you would expect the slope to change. It might go from steep to flat. It might go from steep to steeper if it's getting faster. Which leads us into what does acceleration look like on a distance time graph? The answer is it's a curved line. So in this case, the slope is getting steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper as we go along. Here it's fairly flat, here it's kind of a medium slope, here it's even steeper, and here it's super steep. And it just so happens to be that however fast that line curves kind of tells you whether or not it's accelerating slowly or fastly compared to anything else on that graph. So in this case, we have two graphs, same scale, which is important. This one is much more slow to curve up. As a result, the acceleration is much less because the slope isn't changing as fast. This one, the slope is changing really fast, and so it's a bigger acceleration. For a real-world example, this might be if you're at a stop sign and you begin to kind of go, accelerate, and a cop's right behind you. So you're taking it kind of slow. You don't want to cause any trouble or get pulled over. This might be if you're starring in the new Fast and Furious movie and you're at the stop sign and you're about to race somebody and you hit your gas pedal as hard as you can. So you're going to be accelerating really fast. So now that we've talked about the fact that acceleration means a curved line. Let's talk about what it looks like a little bit more. So we've got distance versus time graphs here. Speeding up um, means that acceleration and velocity are in the same direction, meaning the same sign. They're either both positive or both negative. So what that means is your line is going to get steeper with time. So in this case, our line is getting steeper and steeper in a positive slope. Here, our line is getting steeper and steeper in a negative slope. This would be a negative velocity and a negative acceleration. This would be a positive velocity with a positive acceleration. Just getting steeper, just different directions. So steepness means speed. If instead you wanted something slowing down, you would want a line that gets flatter and flatter and flatter. So in this case, we've got something that started really steep in the negative direction and it's flattening out to zero. If it flattens out completely, it would be not moving at all. Here we've got something that started really steep in the positive direction, so positive slope, and then it flattens out to zero over here. So as lines get flatter with time, that means it's slowing down because the acceleration and velocity are in opposite directions. Therefore, they have opposite signs, like one is positive, one is negative. You might want to replay some of that. It takes a little while to process this, but otherwise, three bullet points, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions.